Wargaming and World of Warships can be a manic pendulum sometimes. It's like a bipolar roller coaster with constant uppers and downers. Just as soon as a wonderful idea comes out of the skunk works, another idea, or ship, so baffling that it makes you question humanity is unveiled. That's just the way it is. We either embrace these ideas or we reject them. The ones we reject, though, we're usually stuck with and just play through them. We deal with it and drive on. Still, to be fair, the good outweighs the bad in warships. And even the bad isn't that bad. Nothing has truly been game-breaking. I mean, there are AAA games out there that have bugs that delete the entire game. Three years on and Warships is still spitting out content at a very fast pace. There's a lot to be happy about. That being said, I want to touch on what I feel has been the best thing Wargaming has done since it went gold. Ranked Sprint. Yes, out of everything. Out of all the new ships, clan wars, events, and everything else, I feel this is the best and possibly the most important thing that Wargaming has done. There's several reasons for this. By taking a popular game mode and cutting the grind down significantly, they have suddenly taken a game mode that can only be achieved by players with skill or vast amounts of time and made ranking out within reach of everyone in the Warships community. Even time challenge players can rank out now. The lowest times I have seen to rank out are in the ballpark of just below 20 rounds. The highest I've seen are around 100. Just about everyone can reach rank 1 now. Now I know that rank 1 in Sprint doesn't garner the same grandeur of ranking out and full on ranked. But you know what? I don't think the vast majority of players care. They're getting to rank 1 and they're happy about it. Ranked Sprint has done something that has been missing from Warships. It gives an obtainable goal that every player can reach. It provides every player with an end game. It gives a reason to play. The full version of Ranked did not do that. It was a grind. A frustrating grind. Ranked Sprint is not. And on top of that, it's fun. Ludicrous fun. Players are enjoying it. Wargaming nailed it. They've created a fun game mode that can be enjoyed and more importantly, completed by the entire player base. This is something that was sorely missing from the game. Not only is this the best thing that Wargaming has done in the past three years, but it may very well be the most important thing. Yes, the carrier rework is important, but it only affected a small portion of the player base. This is important because it's given players a reason to keep playing. It's about retention. It also shows that Wargaming is listening. And not just to skilled players, but to all players. They're meeting the needs of everyone. Ultimately, that's what's going to keep this game alive for several more years. The game cannot survive on retaining skilled players alone. It has to attract and retain all players. Ranked Sprint has been a morale boost to the entire player base. It's a shot in the arm. So congrats Wargaming. You got this right. Now build on the success and give us more. What do you all think? Are you enjoying Ranked Sprint? Is this game mode just what you ordered? Just what you're looking for? Just the shot in the arm you needed to get the game and the excitement factor up for you once again? Or do you still think Wargaming is lacking something? Do you want to see something else? Let me know. Give me your thoughts in the description. I want to hear what you think about both Sprint and the direction of the game and where you want to see it go. Anyhow, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you're doing wonderful. I'll catch you all later. Zoop out.